Did you like it though? Did you? Double time. What's good, YouTube? It's Terrence with that Fantasy Network coming to you guys with a special. We go discuss all thirty-two teams briefly. Let's get it. First team we're going to discuss is the Buffalo Bills, who finished eleven and six last year, and this year has an over under of 10.5 and i would bet the under i would bet the, they did not get better i didn't feel like they got better they didn't get better in my opinion you know so of course josh allen is going to continue to be the goat and he gonna do his thing first quarterback off the board this year um james cook people are looking for him maybe to take a jump um I don't I expect him to be the same. I'm I'm not looking for much. Um uh, I can see Ray Davis being a goal line vulture, uh, which which keeps James Cook at a low ceiling. Khalil Shakur, will he take the next step this year? Don't know. Keon Coleman. As I said in my rookie profile video, unless they put him in a power slot, I'm not expecting much from him this season. And with them playing two tight ends, I'm not expecting them to put him in a power slot as well. Um, Curtis Samuel, he may be surprising. He may surprise you. Dalton Kincaid, a lot of people, I feel, are overdrafting Dalton Kincaid and not realizing that the reason Kincaid had them big blow up games was because Knox was injured. And like, it was easy to tell that what was gonna happen. But if you go check out the games that he played when Knox was not injured, he probably would be going later on in, in leagues and people you know, kind of check that split out. So if you drafting him early, you're hoping that either they don't play two tight end sets or you hoping for Knox to get injured. Next team, 